Calm down, son. It's just a drawing, not the real thing. Now we're gonna show you this picture again, and you tell us if you've seen this guy, understand? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. <gasps> Horrible! So, so Pokemon is a game that teaches children how to enter into the world of witchcraft, how to cast spells. Up here is the clenched fist, symbol for rebellion, anarchy. Right down here is a powerful witchcraft symbol where my finger is. Powerful witchcraft symbol is a symbol of fire. Right down here is another powerful witchcraft symbol. Actually, a new age symbol. A new age symbol for her. Pokemon is a Japanese video game series where you battle these things called Pokemon, and once you defeat them, you capture them with your Pokeball. And that Pokemon you battle is now yours. The more powers your Pokemon have, the stronger they become, and eventually they evolve into a stronger, more mature Pokemon. I know most of you, if not all of you watching this, know how Pokemon works, but this is just for any newcomers who happen to not know about the series at all. So to summarize all that, you have Pokemon, you battle other Pokemon, then capture them once you've weakened them, and you want to try to catch as many Pokemon as you can, as that is the tagline of the Pokemon series. But even something as simple as Pokemon could be considered demonic. In this video, I'm going to explain why that is utter BS. In fact, unless you can't read, you know that's what I'm going to be talking about. So, a handful of Christians claim that Pokemon is evil and needs to be stopped. And to be honest, if they want to believe that, that, and that's fine. I can't stop them. What makes this claim full of crap, however, is the fact that these pastors give some of the most ridiculous and blasphemy excuses I've ever heard as to why the series is supposedly satanic. Pokemon world is a world of the demonic, of the satanic. But while you might not take it quite seriously, I assure you that demons take it quite seriously. Satan takes it quite seriously. Your children knew, need to know there's a devil, and he hates them, and he wants to ruin their life. Good job showing the Jigglypuff there, by the way. Showing one of the most cutest Pokemon in the whole series is definitely going to automatically make me believe that this series is demonic. I mean, no question about it. Uh, there was even a couple of reports where children had been stabbed by other children over Pokemon cards. Do you remember the Dun Dungeons and Dragons game of the 80s where uh, children, young people even, ended up killing themselves because it was a role-playing game? Our kids are going out in gangs on the streets and they're so used to killing each other in their fantasy games. So, it's not the game's fault that kids are freaking stupid. Blame the kids' brain-dead parents, not the fun card-collecting version of Pokemon that is fun when played correctly. You see how bad this is? You can clearly tell that he knows absolutely nothing about the series. Heck, the original theme song for the Pokemon anime actually talks about friendship and working together. Also, your quote-unquote proof that Pokemon is demonic is by saying how kids have been each other over Pokemon cards. Is that really all it takes for a game to be demonic? So, then by that logic, does that mean that if I go over to my friend's house and I beat him up and steal his amiibos, that makes amiibos automatically demonic? Or if some retard decides to kill someone over a Mario game, that makes the Mario series demonic? I mean, what kind of effing logic is that? The sad thing is that a lot of people buy this pastor's BS. My mom saw a clip similar to the one I just showed where it was talking about Pokemon being demonic, and ever since she saw that, I've been forbidden from anything Pokemon related. And the irony of it all is that adults always tell us kids to have valid reasons behind a claim we make. So why is it that when some lunatic of a pastor, if you can even call him that, claims that a harmless video game franchise is evil and demonic, every parent automatically believes him? Something tells me that it's because most adults, usually baby boomers, think Pokemon is weird. So weird that they don't want us kids to watch it because of how weird it seems to them. So because of that, they look up more about Pokemon and click the first video they see that says Pokemon is evil and just use that as an excuse to prevent us from watching it or playing it. Pokemon is not a demonic series because there's nothing demonic about it. Battling other monsters, making new friends, showing teamwork, and even in anime, it shows how all the trainers' relationships with their Pokemon get stronger throughout the series. And it even has empowering lessons and just morals about life. Nothing here screams demonic. You can't just say something is demonic and have no reasoning or evidence to back your claim up because when you do that, 
all you're basically saying is that your stupid retard likes to make crap up for no reason other than to annoy people. Not just that, but Pokemon is a Japanese game. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure most Japanese aren't Christian. Heck, I don't even know if Satoshi Tajiri is a Christian or not. But even if he is, I highly doubt that he was just sitting on his butt thinking, hmm, I'm bored. You know what would be cool? A game called Pokemon. A game where you can train your own pocket monster and have a battle with other Pokemon. And I'm going to make sure that when I design them, I give them the most demonic designs ever. I'm going to get Pikachu a tail that looks like a Satanic Z because screw Christians. If anything, he was probably thinking, I like the idea of monsters battling other monsters. That sounds like an amazing idea. Besides, it's original. Well, time to get to work. Oh, and FYI, the reason Pokemon is even a thing is because Tajiri wanted kids to be able to hunt and collect creatures just like he did when he was a kid, as he used to really be into insects and would actually collect them and study them. It just angers me that something so simple and creative can turn into something very annoying and complicated by a couple of retarded bull dykes who suck at giving good arguments. Like, if someone tells me, hey Jawson, Pokemon is actually demonic, but they've actually watched the anime or played the games and give valid reasons, then alright, you got my attention, I'll hear what you have to say. I'll, I might even take you seriously, but so far, none of that has happened at all. Besides, you could say anything is demonic if you wanted to. You could say that Rosalina from the Mario series or the Minions from the Spickle Me series are demonic characters because they have one eye. But at the end of the day, how you present that claim matters the most. Honestly, if these pastors slash priests, whatever you want to call them, gave more valid reasoning as to why they think the show is the spawn of Satan and actually did research and knew what they were talking about, then I can guarantee that the dislike ratio on these type of videos would be way less. I mean, I'd still probably disagree, but at least I'd be able to respect your opinion a lot more because you gave legitimate answers. Anyway, in conclusion, Pokemon is a fun, non-demonic franchise that is spewing with loads of adventure and cool new memories to make. Don't believe the cryptic bull crap these pastors spew out of their mouths when it comes to Pokemon, as everything they're saying is flat out dumb and stupid with no substance. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Pokemon if you think it is a demonic franchise or not in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye.